this is Al Bain from Al Bain for Leather, and I'm going to talk to you for a moment about the Cobra Class 26 and fouled hook and bobbin compartment resolution techniques. Say that 10 times real fast. All right, so let's take a look over here. What we're going to need is a couple screwdrivers, so a normal blade and then a little small one. This one is actually a little bit too long for the process, and probably a tweezer, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take this whole door assembly out. Just get it out of the way, okay? And understand that this is the hook and the bobbin assembly, and typically the hook rotates around. You can see it going around. It picks up the needle thread and ties a little knot with a bobbin thread, okay? But if you inadvertently forget to hold the thread for those three stitches that we always talk about, What'll happen is it'll make a big bird's nest and a wad of thread will get tangled up and then this whole system will freeze up and you won't be able to move the hand wheel at all. And you're going, oh no, crap, I fouled my bobbin. Okay, so um, to clear that, we have to talk about a couple pieces of sewing machine anatomy. Okay, so the most important part that we're going to talk about is the bobbin case. So this is the latch and then the little bobbin comes out and then the little compartment that it sits in this little guy is the bobbin case okay so that part is what's fouled there's a piece of thread stuck inside the little channel that holds it in and we got to get that thing freed up okay the case itself has a little tab that's located let me point at it with a screwdriver it's located right here and it has to engage a little notch that's right underneath the throat plate. When I take it apart, I'll show you a more detailed picture, but this little thing, when we put it back together, we have to get it all put right back, okay? So let's get to the brass tacks. The bobbin case itself is held in place by this little semicircular part. It's, it's the low point. It's called the gib. There's three little screws, one, two, and three. So we have to remove those screws and pull the bobbin case out. But everything's stuck. You can't rotate the hand wheel. So to be able to access that, you're going to probably want to take your big screwdriver and loosen and remove these two screws. So let me get in there, Pam. Good loop to do. I'm going to do it as quick as possible so we can just do it all in one without having to edit a bunch of stuff here. So one, getting the first race off. Number two. Getting the second race off so we, we have exposure to the components. Okay. And off comes the little race, and there you go. Set your parts aside. Now, the next part that's going to be in your way is going to be the throat plate itself. The throat plate on the left hand side has two screws holding it together, so let's pull those out real quick. I don't even know where that comes from. The inside of my brain is full of really wacky stuff, so you have to kind of bear with me on that stuff. So anyway, get the screw out of there. Now this is the tricky part, okay? It's simple, but it's it, it's it's just you have to lift it up and then pull the bottom away. So up it comes, and then away. You see that? Otherwise, it won't come out. So up and the bottom away and pull it out, okay? So now, make note of the little tab. Can you see that right there? That little tab. Right, right there on the front of the, front of the screwdriver. There you go, that's a nice picture. Okay, and then the inside of the throw plate, right here, that's the notch, okay? When we put them together, that tab and that little notch have to join. You see the notch? Okay, so there, there's that. Now, throw plates out of the way, and what we need to do is get to the gib and remove the little screws. So, I'm going to regret not doing this. I'm going to tell you, you should stuff a paper towel down in there so those little screws don't fall down. But, uh, you know, here I am being the big dummy, and I'm going to remove the little screws. 
Now, your machine being fouled, you won't have the luxury of being able to rotate it around to get all the parts to the best place. So, I can't reach anymore. But you have to get the little screws out. I can't see. So this is the center screw. Let's see if I can do it with my fingers now. Of course not. The magic of magnetism. And then the last one. This is not the best screwdriver in the world. But we make do with what we have. Kind of like watching paint dry, but a little more fun because you get to see me make mistakes. Getting pretty fancy with your little focus button, huh? Pam's all helpful over here, smiling without making noise. Say hi, Pam. Come on, say hi. All my friends want to hear your voice. No, they don't. Well, yeah, they do. Say hi to Bruce Brandt. He's going to be watching this soon. And our buddy Steve Terrian. Steve always says hi whenever we're talking on the phone. Okay, I'm going to get the screw there. It's out. And now we need to get the gib out of there. Okay, so your machine might be all fouled up with thread all around this stuff. So you're going to get an exacto or whatever. But here, slide it over and away. Hopefully it doesn't fall inside the throat. And there, that's the gib. Okay, so one little anatomical point you want to look at is this little hole right here. That's an oil hole. So three screws and one little oil hole. So keep in, in, that in mind when you're lubricating your system. So now, we want to get the bobbin case out of the space. Okay, and it's all frozen. The machine at this point will probably rotate around, okay, but it'll only go so far because the tab and the little protrusion right here will end up bumping into the bobbin case opener. This little lever is called the bobbin case opener. Um, you don't want to bend all those parts by forcing everything to crash into itself when it's all seized up, okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take something like a popsicle stick or a pencil, something soft. You don't want to abuse the metal parts with tools, right? So you want to use something soft to get in there. So I'm gonna use this carpenter's pencil, okay? I'm gonna reach in there and I'm gonna tap on the surface, tap, 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 and break the pencil, but force the case to move around, okay? You only get this little quarter revolution Okay, but tap it very gently so you can move it, move it, move it. And what's eventually going to happen is it's going to pulverize the piece of thread that's jammed in there. Okay, then once you, once you get it to moving where you can get your fingers on it, open the little lever. Okay, open the lock. And now more sewing machine anatomy. Okay, so this piece of the hook assembly, this little part here, and then this little protrusion where the thread comes out in about this position is the sweet spot where the bobbin case will come out of its cradle. At any other point in the, rev in the, in the revolution, the bobbin case won't come out. You can lift, 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 but the minute you rotate to where it's a couple degrees past that little point there, the bobbin case will just come right out. Okay, so take the case out, clean it off with a paper towel, get that thread that's inside the hook compartment, get that all out of there, cleaned up, and you should be good to go. 
So now, now that you have it apart, put a little drop of oil on that race surface right there. Okay, and it's going to be along the inside of the hook right there. You can totally see a little lip where the bobbin case is going to sit. And then here's that same surface that's going to sit on the other side right here. Okay, put a little teeny bit of oil on there. And then note the little felt that's right there. Put, put a little drop in there because that's what is constantly, you know, deploying a little bit of oil. And that little hole in the gib that we talked about, that's directly above there. So a little drop is going to go in there and migrate in. Okay, so that's basically clearing the fouled, um, fouled thread out of the bobbin case. Put it back together in the reverse order. Make sure that you get that little tab located back underneath the throat. The little tab and this little notch lined up. Put it all back together, lubricate it, and then pay it forward. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.